All right, and welcome back. All of my great and glorious advisors, this is your Imperial Commander, as it is. I remembered this time. And what we've got going on here, as you probably recall from last time, is we got attacked. And we did some stuff based on the fact that we got attacked. Uh, we managed to beat back the invasion, the incursion, the uh, first time we got attacked, and last time uh, we were kind of building up defenses, what we got going on here, and taking care of stuff. Did a little bit of cheaty poo to <clears throat> just to get ahead of the game a little bit, because, you know, I went over it in that video. Cheating now and again doesn't really bother me. In fact, sometimes I'll just cheat my ass off just because I feel like it, you know. My goal, you know, I'll just go over it right quick, you know, because I brought it up. You know, games are for fun, you know. I'm not trying to prove anything to anyone because, I mean, it's a game. What did, you know, ooh, I put it on the hardest difficulty and beat it. What does that really prove? Nothing. I mean, if you did it to tr because, you know, uh, t I just, I don't care about that sort of stuff at all. I'm not, I'm not impressed by it and... I really don't understand why anybody else would be. You know, it's it's a game. Unless you're getting paid to do it, don't care. You know, if you're getting paid to do it, then you do it without cheating. See, that, that's different. But if you're just playing the game, then you play the game for fun. If you're not having fun, no, then you need to change what you're doing. Either change the game or... Go ahead and do what it takes to have some fun. So anyway, uh, really the way I look at it is, because uh, what I did was I boosted research for one turn by, a, you know, a million points, which is a lot. But uh, the way I look at it, this is what we did. This, you know, go ahead and uh, end the turn. This is what we did. We took all the damn scientists, the best scientists, and stuck them in one location. You know, all the top guys and gals and, well, we're xenophobes, so we probably don't have things. All the guys and gals, all the scientists, and we set them down in an auditorium somewhere, and we went, uh, There has been a crisis, and we need your help, your assistance. Dain is the best metallurgist. Chemists, physicists, scientists of the entire empire. We have brought you here to work. And work you shall. If you do not work on the assignments given to you, if you do not do the work, we will take you out and we will kill you. And then we will do very unpleasant things to you. See, that's what we did. And because they didn't want that to happen, they did the work and made us really, really good armor. And it looks like we've got uh, our little buddies over in the other uh, area are back again where we can see them. I suppose they're going to try and invade from their side of things. That would just be lovely. A two-pronged defense. Having to put up with that shit. Well, I did send a couple of ships that way, so... Yes, we've got robotics, we've got temporal weapons, we've got point defense uh, improvements. That's good. So, I think we can pull research out of point defense. We've got that improved quite a bit now. Mm, oh, 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 maybe not. Maybe not all of it there. Temporal weapons. Go ahead and pull some points out of that. That gets us 25% back. Oh, we really kind of need to improve our mineral extraction abilities. Yes, we do. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that there. 
why? Because if you take a look at our report up here, we are running kinda low on everything but especially minerals. We're not doing too bad on organics and radioactives. My little impression of, I guess that was kind of Brando thing, I guess. Godfather thing. Kind of wandered there at the end. Yeah, minerals are getting kind of low, so I think we'll throw the research in there. We have, what do we have going on here? So we got some new technology developed. That's good. And we finally got that guy built so we can reestablish our colony up here. Very important. take a while to get there, but it'll do. What do we got going on over here? Uh, one single solitary ship probably heading right there. So, if they don't attack us, we won't attack them yet. We shall make them an offer they can't refuse. Down. There's no ship there. Okay. Alrighty, so we were working on building this up into an industrial complex of epic proportions. So we need to go ahead and build our robots faci robotics facility there. Robotoid, because that increases uh, space yard construction rate by 5% there, which is good. Are we going to put one of those there? I don't think so. And maybe. Just did that there. One there. Maybe. Are we going to do that there? I can't remember. Must have been. Okay, so that's there. About here. Nope. Yeah. Nope. It's those two. So this will this will definitely be our major construction sector. to worry about yeah, getting attacked there once once we have this established we'll definitely bulk up its defenses. This is Devonshire. So, yeah, once we, we can go ahead and add some stuff in now, actually. Let's go by name. It already was. D's. So we have some stuff going here. And all. We'll just do some units here. Fighters, troops, and let's say about 30 mines of each mine on each one of those. That's That'll be some basic defense that they'll just uh, work on after they've done everything else. Just to make it hard. You know, it, that's kind of inexpensive to do that a little bit. That way, uh, any attack that takes place there will be blunted. But we're not worried that we're going to let anybody get that close to us. Our other little friends don't seem to be aggressive at this point. Can't rely on that to last, but 
they've shown no sign so far of getting aggressive with us, so I'm not as worried about them as I am about the other ones who have already attacked us, uh, for obvious reasons. We will kill them all, the bastards, the bloody bastards. Those guys can really book. I like it. I like it when they can get across this an entire uh, star system pretty quickly like that. Ooh. <laughs> Maybe I should go back to doing some research on engines and improve the engines, because fast ships Fast ships can get away faster, they can catch up to other ships faster. Fast ships are better. More expensive, but they're better. They also carry more resources. not getting very much from mining at all. Probably need to do better mining ships. Uh, we got two on the same one. That's not even good. Move there. job. Like I did, I picked the absolute lowest ones for every single one of them. Amazing one. Things it's not a whole lot, but better than nothing. So let's see what else we got out and about. Those two guys, those. Go ahead and put them in on as centuries so we don't have. here is since I've actually got a, you know 10 ships there playing defense then maybe you should stick a couple three ships on the planets but really one or two ships you know if the forces manage to break through your primary defensive position one or two ships are only going to kind of slow them down and even then most likely they're just going to get wiped out and it's just going to be overwhelming firepower against them so it's better to just pile in at one spot that way, you know, hopefully the overwhelming firepower will be on your side instead of theirs. It's better to use defensive um, capacity of things. Like, on here we've got mines and ships and stuff. Actually, we should launch the mines there. Actually, I'm not sure about that. They'll launch automatically when any enemy ship comes into the sector. I believe as long as they're in storage, they don't cost you money. 
I could be wrong about that. But I think that's how it works, so it might be better to leave that be. But at the same time, I'm not sure if mines will affect them if they're not actually launched, so... I'm kind of thinking we should launch the mines. Nice mine build, 50 mines, anything comes in there, it's not going to be too happy about it. Do we have anything built here? No. And I don't know why. Honestly, I do not. So let's... Everything. Yep. Let's see. Maybe we should go ahead and build a new ship. Maybe a kind of a glass cannon sort of ship. Actually, I think we might go with a weapon platform for planets. Yeah, we can't put a whole lot on these, but. more damage than these guys, but you can fit two of these, so what would the damage to shields be? It's 34 minimum, so 34 times 4 times 2 is 272 potential damage from two of those versus 240 on those. To shields, obviously. So, it's kind of a trade-off between being able to wipe out their shields faster versus doing higher overall damage. And honestly, the overall damage looks a little bit more appealing. So, I think that's what I'll go for. Now, the weapons platform is basically... Uh, uh, I don't know if you would have ever seen... Uh, uh, let's see the show, uh, Stargate SG-1. There was this one race of people, I forget what they were called, they, they looked human like most of the aliens, but that, that was part of the myth mythos of Stargate SG-1, was that, you know, there's not a whole lot of actual aliens in the Stargate universe. Most of them are humans that were taken from Earth early in, you know, like, ancient Egypt, you know, for example, that era, you know, four or five, or, well, I don't know if they ever say in the TV show, it's, you know, like six, seven thousand years in the past, when, and it, you know, the whole of ancient Egypt was actually the gold, so you're talking four or three to five thousand years ago, and they took humans all over the galaxy, and those populations have built up there over time, and one of them never had, like, Dark Ages or all the wars and stuff, they managed to develop. Well, 
way more, and uh, I forget the name of the race, but they had these, uh, if, if you know the show, then you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, you're clueless, and this won't help much. But in the show, they had these ground-based cannons that could wipe out enemy ships until escalation of conflict decreed that they could not anymore. And that's what these things are, you know, a weapon platform. It's a ground-based, uh, automated, possibly automated, I think, it contains a weapon platform control. This, it doesn't say whether it's, it's just as control center, so these may not be automated. It could be that this actually houses, like, a small crew of people. But it would be like a defensive platform with, really, uh, with weapons, ship-level weapons they can fire up in space at anything that's coming close. You know, they're cheaper than ships, but they can't move. But, you know, they're defensive in nature. Slide type. All the way down to the bottom. Seeker. Okay. Oh, like a homing missiles type stuff. Strategy doesn't matter that much. A uh, name just Let's go with what it is, defense platform small. No need for a fancy name for this. Created. So it's got pretty heavy armor. It can take some hits. And it can dish out some punishment. No, that's the base. We aren't on units here. Unit designs. There we go. So, yeah, still same thing. Can take some decent hits. Can do a, quite a bit of damage. That alloy, alloy bar burner missile, one of those things hits, it's going to be wiping out their armor pretty good. It does double damage to armor, so those are going to be doing like 280 damage to armor. And these just overall 240 damage to everything. So, pretty significant uh, impact there. You might want to go ahead and do like we did before and get at least one of those on each of these. Just so in case something should go down over here, there'll be just that little tiny bit more defense. Actually, that's not a tiny bit of defense. It's pretty substantial, really. And build one here. Since this is currently our major facility, I think I'm gonna build like three of the fuckers here. It'll take some time to get all this stuff built up. Especially. Ah, oh, fuck, I didn't leave that. Alright, that was still on emergency build. So now everything is going to take forever to get done. Ah, uh, hell. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh well. shorter episode, maybe 30-40 minutes. Might just blow through a few turns here. Hopefully we won't get attacked again too soon. 
you know, just blow through some turns, let some research get done, let some ships get built, let things get where they need to get going to. means that they've reached the end of their expansion cycle for the most part or where they can expand to if they've started putting colonies right next to where they know possible enemy ships are hanging out. Increase. Yeah, that'll definitely be good. This is the light cruiser attack. Cruiser. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and short defenses here some more. Just in case. Because I think we're doing okay now. So I, all I can do is put resupply there or just ignore them. And they're miners. How can they not be able to supply themselves with shit? I, I guess that's not the same thing, but still. And it's kind of silly. Alright, that's everything. 
colony ship. Yes, dying. They are definitely colonizing. Oh well, let's go ahead and blow through another turn and see what's happening. See what's what, boys. Yeah, something like that. Was it player three or four that attacked us? I can't remember now. Player three. Probably player three. They seem to be the ones that are being aggressive with everyone. Not sure, though. I need to check the, the thing. Let's see who's who here. Oh well. Not attacking us, so. Maybe, I think it was player four that attacked us, though. I can't remember for certain. It's either three or four. Hmm. Didn't attack. Player five must be uh, neutral or something, because their turn is always real fast. The neutral ones, uh, as I recall, they only have, like, one planet. They don't expand. Should have went ahead and put some more engines on it. In hindsight. Oh well. It'll get there eventually. So now we've got four ships. Sentry because there's enemies nearby. Okay, so they're just gonna have to hang out. So let's see, Humiliator and Howler is a light cruiser, so that gives me a heavier ship there. Humiliators are destroyers, and a choker is a frigate, so that gives me a little bit of impact there. I think I might go ahead and join them up into a fleet right quick. So they create fleet power as force leader and then we'll put in our O's. Weapons, 
they're using, I don't know what these guys are using actually, but so far we know the other ones are using missiles, so since that's all we have to go on at this point, that's what we're pretty much going to have to roll with. Dealing with somebody that uses a bunch of missiles, long range weaponry like that, what you want to do is get your ass in close. Uh, what were we going to do with this one? Are we going to put it in here? Nope. There, I think, because we want to the, uh, resources. That guy we put on some tree duty. Just kind of surround the entire thing. No, a fire line, a picket line, whatever you want to call it. Anything gets in there, it ain't gonna be happy. So let me go ahead and get that out of there. Move it up here. Wait. The one that actually had cargo already. Nope. Spoilers heading this way, but they had a ways to go, as I recall. So, a political message. So you got a close political message, apparently. Oh, you know, assholes that attack us. <laughs> non intercourse agreement allow colonization in each other's systems. Uh, no? Fuck you. We do not entirely trust you. Your treaty can wait for now. Sure, why not? <laughs> This message, fuck off. It would be my message. You're like, you attacked us, motherfucker. You came through and wiped out a whole goddamn colony. You weren't being very peaceful. Now you're just being a bunch of pussies. Fuck y'all. We ain't playing that bullshit. You want to try and colonize here, motherfuckers? Then you better come through and kill us. Take it. Don't down down, motherfucker. Even with your superior military technology, kick your asses. We got more money. We got more stuff. We don't mind taking some scientists and shit and putting guns to their heads and saying, Produce the armor! We need more armor! Produce the armor! We fucking kill you! I eat you kidding. Code to simu uh, simulate something that might actually happen if you <laughs> over a ruler with the inclination to do so. Alright, we got that one colonized. See, 
got some other unit stuff being built, that's good. Little minor facility built, that's good. This one, the entire point was mineral. And we can only put one thing here. Is it actually a tiny one? Damn, I didn't realize that. That's a problem. Damn. That was a mistake. Now I'm not going to be able to do anything else with it. Fuck. None of the other ones had any good resources. So yeah, it's producing a lot. That one has two. They're all, these are all, this is like our mineral production capital right now. Good grief. So, ice, rock, rock. So you can at least get something happening there. Ice Rock Rock. Sounds like a real shit version of Rock Paper Scissors. Ice Rock Rock. How the fuck do you play that thing? Well, rocks bash into each other. Don't really accomplish anything, and then ice comes along, freezes them both up, and wins. Breaks them down over time. That's a lot of what the play of this game is, really. It's just moving stuff around, waiting for it to get there, telling it where to get there. Because space is big. Very big. No, really. You wouldn't believe just how big it is. It's mind bogglingly. Bogglingly huge. Tell me the reference in the in the comments if you know it. I was paraphrasing. I don't really memorize things from books and stuff. But 
you should know what I was referencing. If you know it, obviously. If you don't know it, then you're not going to. That's how that works. Maybe we should go ahead and do a carrier. Hey, we got some new shields developed. They're improving stuff bit by bit. Yes, we got our shipyard ship. And it is so low as fuck. That is gonna take forever to get there. Oh well. Get the journey going. It'll get there eventually. So Century. Century. Can't do anything with those. That's it. So now we've got I'm beginning to wonder if we may have not piled in too much over here. Go in there, another spoiler, grinder, cruncher. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe we should go ahead and. I mean, we've got 15 ships here now. That's pretty substantial defense force. Over here, we've only got so far four. And we're more or less surrounded if we really know anything about these guys. Yeah, we have no information on them whatsoever at this point. So... We'll hear the espionage. Oh goodness. They are capable of seriously putting some intelligence against us. Wow. Okay, yeah, that's not going to be helpful. must have invested a lot in intelligence. Holy shit. That's a problem. Oh hell, there was a damn planet over here I didn't notice. The right kind of atmosphere and everything. It's a medium planet too. Oops. too. I completely overlooked that one. So that's going to have to kind of be mineral production intelligence world. And now that I've seen that, I'm more than a little paranoid on intelligence stuff, so... They don't usually put that much resources into intelligence. That's crazy. I mean, that's just huge. Damn. Let's go ahead and create a carrier. K 
can here. Let's go ahead and use a freighter for it. Well, there's a light cruiser. All right, the cruiser, not carrier. Uh, I have to go with the carrier. The freighter. engines in there. That's good enough for me. Alrighty, so let's see. Go oh, ahead yeah, and put some submissive armor on this. Good size supply storage. Start improving combat sensors too. Alright, fighter bays. I think we'll put these on the upper side of it. Fighter bay, fighter bay. Let's go over if I can. Alright, get three of those in there. We'll go ahead and put a repair bay because that's always useful for this sort of thing. Rest will be cargo space. Weapons on the fighters or carriers, though the fighters are the weapons. And having some point defense in there, I guess we'll go ahead and screw the same screw the point defense. This is the thing's offense and defense is its fighters. It's gonna carry, and it's the repair bay is gonna be able to repair damaged fighters and stuff. I wish there was like a repair bay light for this sort of thing that only affected units or something not in the game that I'm aware of I'm not sure if you could even make it to where it did that well, I guess you could make like a like a 50 ton or 40 ton repair bay that just repaired a lot less ton of stuff then but there would be no way to force it to repair units first. That would be a problem. Alright, strategy is... Don't get hurt, I think. Now, I really need to look up the fighter attack and drone attack because I cannot remember for the life of me if fi like fighter attack, that means that it tries to attack like a fighter does in drone wood, or if that actually is for like carriers. Like, uh, not sure about that. I think that that's actually for fighters and drones. I'm not sure. Type is carrier. Fun. 
And we don't really have drones, so we're gonna have to... It's kind of a small fighter carrier. The name will be the... Have we got an eruptor yet? Nope. Because that's what the they do, is erupt from it. That's good. Got a couple of different fighters we can use. We can upgrade them. Should be able to. Yes. In so far as it'll allow us with armor. Make the original obsolete. Sky Chaser. Non obsolete unit designs. Upgrade it. Actually, this one can't be upgraded because we didn't Looking have anything on it that can be upgraded. We haven't upgraded our small Many people try, go try, go try, go try. Maybe somebody, 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 somebody else. Cut it up, cut it up, cut it up, cut it up. Pretend it goes your own, your own, your own, your own for yourself. Looking in the case, there's their fast missiles, and then we've got these guys that are slower. Only have some time to store actually kind of a bad combination, in a way. Yeah, depends on how you want to look at it. They get in there and hit with those missiles. Oh no, can we even create a drone yet? No, we cannot. We have not really researched any of that shit. And this one, even though I said it was probably going to be a shorter one, is actually going to be longer than the first one, it looks like. That makes a lot of sense. Oh well. You got any place over here that can build shit yet? Nope. Nope. Oh, oh, well. Well, oh, well. Military industrial complex areas take a lot of time to develop, apparently. Oh, right here. Got any place that isn't bogged down? This one will be done pretty quick. Let me get that one built. Do we really need that yet? I mean, that, I think we'll save that for when we're going to go on the offensive. <laughs> I'm beginning to think that instead of trying to take over planets, we'll just wipe the fuckers out and then take them over later. It's kind of a nasty way to do things, but we're supposed to be xenophobes, so it's not like we really want to mix with them anyway. Although I did say at one point, I think that adopting them into the fold would be kind of like making them... Us. So less xenophobic. Or, it's still kind of xenophobic because you're not accepting something outside, but you're, you're bringing it into the fold. I think we'll go the full board uh, evil empire route and just wipe everybody else out. Troops are purely defensive. It means I can get rid of that troop carrier. I'm pretty sure I designed one that was a troop carrier. Troop transport. Make obsolete. Bye bye. Yeah, I really should have made this faster. I'm not giving it all that fucking armor. Oh, well, I mean, it repair shit. It's, in terms of just being a really heavy repair. Ship that can, you know, I mean, it's a freighter, it's not designed for war, but it can dish out some punishment and take a shitload of damage off of all that armor before it'll go down and it repairs fast, so they can't kill it in one turn and don't damage the repair base, it'll just repair itself. See, the thing here is, uh, what we do is once we get that space yard ship up here, we can build, like, a couple, well, you can only 
be building with one thing at a time. And so unfortunately, you can't like pool resources and repair bays and shipyard ships. Unfortunately. But, uh, once we have that shipyard ship up here, or really once we have this thing repopulated and working well, we can start sending more of those repair ships up here, and it'll make it a lot harder for things to break through. But I think that's going to be it for this episode. We did. We went longer than the first one. Well, not the first one, but the last one. I said this was going to be a shorter episode. It's actually turned out to be longer. Go figure. So I think that uh, wraps things up for this episode, this uh, report. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and all that good stuff. Drop some DACA down, some uh, gunfire, some some pew pew down on the like button, and leave some comments and share with your friends and all that good stuff. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye, bye, bye.